Whew. Well, at last, I'm finally launching it. Today is September 4th. Uh, it's Memorial Day uh, 2023, and it is hotter than hell out here today. Hence the big hat and sunglasses and stuff. But uh, my wife's down here to help me launch this for the first time, as well as uh, give this boat a name. Uh, just step maybe right there. And we can see you. <laughs> so, uh, may God bless Wave Sweeper and all who sail in her. Additionally, uh, may Menanon MacLear, the Irish god of the sea, watch over her as uh, she is the namesake of his own magical boat that uh, is capable of self navigating or some such wonder. So, anyway. Good luck to this fine ship, and uh, let's hope this goes well today. Well, for her, and for you, for me, and a little for Mananan. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a big splash. <laughs> Launch you. There we go. So. I'm not going to film the shoving in of it, but um, that's that's what's next. Here's my green branch that I was supposed to have on when I launched it, apparently, due to whatever superstition. But uh, I grabbed it before I set sail, so we'll count it. Success. I made it in without tipping it over. Um, like I said, the winds were a bit fluky, but... and to non-existent, which is exactly what I needed. I didn't really need the fluky part. I just needed the not very windy part. And uh, a couple times, like I said, it got up to be a little uh, exciting. But on the whole, it was a pretty relaxing thing. My technique is definitely shit. Um, there's a lot of strings to pull, it feels like, so I'm, I'm still working on that. Thank goodness that guy wasn't out when I was out. Hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. Anyway, um, like I said, that first go, I am feeling pretty good about. Happy I did this. It is blazing hot. I'm sweating through my shirt just standing here. So by way of intro, my name is Red. This is now Wave Sweeper. And uh, a little bit ago, before you got to this part, probably you saw me giving uh, giving her her name and not necessarily launching her. This old girl is a uh, 1973 Wayfarer is what it says on the paperwork. And uh, of course it's an Abbott built in Canada. So the Wayfarer book and a bunch of other stuff didn't seem to be all the help I had hoped it would be. But in the end I got usable equipment. So up until this point there's been quite a lot of this and that's that I had to, um, I felt I wanted to do. They probably would have sailed if I'd have just taken it to the water and put up the sails and gone but like my shrouds weren't the same length there was there was no mass step to speak of there was just a number of things that didn't sit right with me. So I went about fixing those things. This, this channel could probably be called How Not to Wayfarer. But um, as you'll see in, the, in future videos, I, I got to a point where today I could launch and sail. Was it perfect? About the only thing that didn't go exactly as planned was after I was done sailing, I went to put the mast down and uh, the, the rope didn't get away from me, but it, I was on quite a hill, and once the mast started going, it just kept going. It didn't fall like a thousand miles an hour or anything like that, but it was not really, it was sort of a controlled crash, let's put it that way. At this point, um, yeah, it's, it's all, it's a, it's a sailing boat now instead of just a boat that I own and um, um, I'm pretty chuffed with with everything. 
again, I, if you'd have seen me sailing, it was a shit show. I'm <laughs> by the time any time I would tack, I would drop the tiller or the strings, or you know, it's amazing I didn't tip over. Uh, thankfully, it was really not that windy. But uh, I'm hoping you'll stick with this. I'm gonna have who knows how many videos. I've been just recording like crazy and I haven't edited any of it. So going forward, there'll be lots of uh, how I got to where I am today. And then hopefully, maybe yet this year, I'll get out for a, an actual adventure somewhere. And But for now, just learning how to sail is, is all the adventure I can stand. Um, I dare not load it up with a week for worth of camping gear and go sailing somewhere. So. That's where we're at right now. I appreciate you watching. Tune in to see how I got where I'm at. I would say probably most of what I do is uh, unconventional at best. It just makes sense to me quite often. Appreciate you watching and um, hopefully you all stick with me and let me know what you think. Like what you're going to see coming down the road is going to be more telling of uh, what I've been up to than this video. This is just gonna say, hey, I'm red and I have a sailboat. So anyway, appreciate you watching and uh, good luck to you.